branding and a better tasting formula. Let's try it together. I am not gonna go soft on you. I'm gonna tell you honestly what I think. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. The new formula is milkier, creamier. Hey guys, before we get to the video, I just want to make a side note. While I was preparing the video and the editing and everything, I found out that there is a new recipe for the chocolates that Mr. Beast released uh, recently. It's supposed to be a lot milkier and uh, better tasting and everything. So I'm going to try my best to get my hands on these cho new chocolates and make another video where we're going to try them and see if they're actually as good as uh, he says they are. Uh, but until then, just go watch this video and see what's my honest opinion about the Fistables. And remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Yo, welcome to Vortex Gaming and Reacts, guys. And welcome to a reaction video about the Mr. Beast chocolate, the Fistables. <laughs> I have them all here for you. All right. Uh, I ordered these chocolates because uh, every time I'm watching like a Mr. Beast video, I always hear them talking about, oh, my chocolate is the best chocolate in the world. It's better than the Hershey's or this and that. And I decided, you know what, let me try them. Let me see if it, it's actually as good as he says they are, you know. So I bought this. Now, before we move with the tasting of this chocolate and with the whole video, we need to uh, talk about the... Uh, how I'm gonna compare the chocolate, like to what I'm gonna compare it, you know? In all his videos, he was always talking about the Hershey's, saying that it's better than the Hershey. Now, I, I've never tried the Hershey's, so I have no idea if the Hershey's a good chocolate or not. As far as I know, it might be the worst chocolate in America, and he's just comparing it to that chocolate, you know? So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna compare it with uh, Lindet Lindor. That's made a chocolate made in Italy. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best chocolate in the world. So, that's how I'm gonna compare it. Uh, I live in UK at the moment, so here in UK we have the Cadbury, which is another type of chocolate. I do have one here actually. <laughs> this is a what's it called? It's a Whisper uh, from Cadbury. This is actually a pretty good chocolate. Uh, it uh, has like the bubble airs inside. It's really nice and smooth. But I'm not gonna compare it to that one, okay? I'm gonna compare it with the one that I actually love and, and, and enjoy. Yeah, if you guys enjoy, please like, subscribe, and without further ado, let's go to the video. So, first of all, I'm here on the on the web page from uh, Mr. Beast of Feastables, and I'm looking at this picture. Where the hell is Chris? <laughs> you know, I can I can look at it, and I was like, I, I mean, I can see Chandler, Nolan, and um, I forgot his name. <laughs> uh, I see Mr. Beast, but I don't see Chris. What happened with Chris? Why he's not in the... I mean, these are, this is the group, right? Whatever. <laughs> so, let's, uh, let's see how these chocolates are. Um, we're gonna start with the original chocolate. Yeah. Now, this chocolate is made in Peru. Or at least that's what it says here on the back. Which to me it's uh, actually good because uh, I mean it's not good, but I'm just saying from what I've heard, the chocolate in America is completely different than the chocolate in uh, in Europe. I, I'm not sure if that's a case or not, if it's true or not. But I've heard people saying that if you eat the chocolate here in uh, Europe, so let's take an example. If you take one Milka chocolate, let, let's say the um, the one with the milk, for example, the milk one, or one with peanut butter, okay. If you make it in Europe and then you make it in America, it has completely different flavors and taste. Uh, for some reason, they add some other things in uh, the chocolate from America. I'm, again, I'm not sure if that's the case, if it's true or not, but that's what I've heard. So I was a little bit concerned about this because I was like, I, I don't know how the chocolate tastes in America. So I thought maybe the festivals are made in America, but apparently they made in Peru. Uh, not a lot of ingredients here. It actually says here there's only four ingredients. It says on the package here. Let me put it here. So I'm not sure if there's actually only four. <laughs> but let's open this one and see how it tastes. Now again, I'm gonna eat this chocolate thinking of the Lindert, the Lindors, the Pralines, you know. Those little chocolates are amazing, okay. Uh, if you have never tried them, just buy one and you're gonna love them. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like a uh, real cocoa. Ooh, the smell is very good, actually. And this is dark chocolate, I think. It says original chocolate, but I think it's dark. It smells like dark chocolate, you know? Um, 
Oh yeah, this uh, this four uh, chocolates came in a, a small box that I think I throw it somewhere here, the box. Uh, so the, it was like a package and I paid 20 pounds for them. I don't know, it will depend. If the flavor is nice, then it's worth the five pounds, okay? If it's not, then I think five pounds is a little bit too much for a chocolate, okay? <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's Mr. Beast or not, uh, that's too much. Um, with the for the the Lindor the chocolates I'm talking about, with eight pounds you buy the box you know and there's like I, I around twenty maybe um, chocolate balls there, you know, and they're actually worth the money all the money yeah. So we'll see if this uh, the, the festivals are actually worth the money. So let's start with this one. Uh, so it's not in cubes like a, a usual chocolate. Devour, it says devour. <laughs> this one. Wait, let me watch the, let me check the whole chocolate. Oh, share. It says share. I don't know if you guys can see. Share. And. Devour. <laughs> okay. So let's devour this chocolate. All right, definitely dark chocolate. Has a little bit of a, of a flavor of a little bit like alcohol. I'm not sure, maybe it's just me. Is there anything with alcohol here? Cane sugar, cocoa mask, cocoa butter. So it's a dark chocolate. Yeah, it is dark chocolate, it says here on the back. Contains cocoa, solids, 54% mignon. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, this dark chocolate, <laughs> nothing particular to be honest, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's wash our mouth so we can um, feel the flavor of the other ones. Yeah, it's not, I've, I've, I've eaten a lot of dark chocolate and I love dark chocolate. And this one is not nothing particular compared to other chocolates that I've tasted so far, you know. I know. There is a, share, uh, a code, um, QR code here on the back. More nums, more prizes, more beasts. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna check this QR code. Who knows? Maybe I will register for some uh, some of uh, his games. He's gonna invite me <laughs> in some of his games. Yeah, nothing nothing really particular about the the dark chocolate. I wouldn't call it the best chocolate in the world. <laughs> like he calls it. Obviously, he has to say that because it's his chocolate, you know. But I wouldn't call it that to be honest. Okay. Let's move on to the milk chocolate. Now this has to be bad, good, yeah? Grass-fed milk. Only five ingredients. Of course, made in Peru. Let's see. Uh, cane sugar, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, milk, vanilla powder. And obviously the, all the other things. Uh, it might contain peanuts, tree nuts, soy and wheat. Maybe the, that flavor that I'm tasting, maybe it might be one of these nuts that somehow the flavor of those ended up in the chocolate. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's see. That, is this one that's gonna tell me some things like that one? Uh, share and devour. Yeah, so it has the same uh, the same uh, writing on it. All right, let's take um, a piece. No. <laughs> oh my god, I, I feel sorry to say this. But... No. Chocolate is not bad, okay? Uh, it's an average chocolate, to be honest. I mean, at this point, even a Milka, if you buy it, and I mean, Milka is an amazing chocolate, okay? But I can't even compare it to the Lindors, honestly. Like, just like, <laughs> no, not even like close to the flavors, okay? 
Yeah, the chocolate is not bad. Call it like the best chocolate in the world. It's <sighs> man. I, I, again, I feel I feel really sorry. I don't I don't want to be mean or anything. I mean, it's Mr. Beast. I love Mr. Beast. He's my favorite person in the world, to be honest. You know, grateful for what he's doing. All his videos are funny and everything. You know, everybody loves him. He's helping a lot of people. But <sighs> his chocolate is not is not the best chocolate in the world. We still have two to go. We have the uh, crunch. It's milk chocolate with puffed rice. Okay, so let's try this one then. Uh, this one has six ingredients. Let's see what uh, was the ingredients inside. Cane sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate liquor. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay. So this one it says it has chocolate liquor. Now, these ones. It doesn't say that. However, even this one, I didn't say this already, but I'm gonna say now. Even this chocolate, the milk one, the second one I tried, has that little bit of alcohol uh, flavor in it, okay? I'm not sure why. Maybe they just forgot to put it on the ingredients. But again, I, I, I can sense that uh, little bit of alcohol flavor in uh, these chocolates, which not my favorite, to be honest. <laughs> And this one definitely says uh, chocolate liquor, milk, puffed rice, vanilla powder. And then it says that it contains like cocoa, solids, 44%, whatever. Okay. So definitely there's something weird in, in the flavor of this chocolate. I'm not sure why it has this uh, alcohol flavor in it, but whatever. Let's see this one. So this one is puffed rice. Let me take a little bit more water. Wait, there's something wrong here. Okay. So I'm eating the um, the crunch here. Yeah? This one says on the back it says that it has um, chocolate liquor inside, right? And I don't taste the alcohol inside. While the other ones, it doesn't say there's alcohol, but it, I can I could taste the alcohol inside. There's something. <laughs> am I crazy? I think I'm. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Why is this one? It says it has alcohol inside, but you don't feel the. I don't taste the alcohol inside. While the other two, and they don't say that there's alcohol inside. I could taste the alcohol. I, 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 why, what's going on here? All right. <laughs> So we are left with these nuts. <laughs> the name is funny. This one has seven ingredients, okay? Milk chocolate with peanut butter. Okay. Let's see the ingredients. <laughs> so this one has cane sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate liquid again, milk, peanuts, salt, vanilla powder, and then that's it. So supposedly this one has again uh, uh, should have a leak uh, alcohol flavor to it, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Again, no, no alcohol. I can I can taste the alcohol in this chocolate. But I have to say, out of the four, the peanut butter is the best one. Okay. Now this one is actually good. This one has a nice flavor. The the puff rice one, I didn't say this. It it was an average chocolate again. Mm, nothing special. But this one, this one is actually good. Maybe it's because of the peanut butter. Yeah, 
Again, I don't I don't taste the alcohol inside. Which is weird. The two chocolates that have alcohol inside, I couldn't taste the alcohol. And the ones that they, it doesn't say there's alcohol, I could taste it, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna taste again one of these to see if I'm actually right or not. If I actually feel the uh, taste the alcohol, or maybe it was just in my brain. But these two that says alcohol, definitely there's no alcohol in them. Okay, you, you can't, I, you can't taste it. I can't taste it. I don't know. Okay, let me uh, double check this one. The one with the milk. Yeah. Let's see if actually I can taste the alcohol or not. Yeah. Am I, am I tripping? Definitely doesn't say alcohol in this one, but I can taste it. Am I going crazy? I can taste the alcohol in this too that doesn't have alcohol, <laughs> but I don't, I, I can't feel it in, I, I, I can't uh, taste it on this, on this too. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so uh, <laughs> we've tried all of them. Let's give uh, our final thoughts. So for five pounds per chocolate. Now, granted, I ordered these chocolates here in UK. So if they're made in Peru or whatever, the, whatever they are made, maybe the cost of the transport and everything, you know, it's increasing the price of the chocolate. I think that's how it works. Is it worth the five pounds? One of these festivals? I wouldn't say that, honestly. Um, again, I'm sorry to say this. Uh, you know, I know it's uh, Mr. Beast and everything, but not in my opinion, it's not worth it. Maybe a three pounds. I'm not sure how much it costs in uh, America. If you guys want, please let me know in the comment section how much it's actually the price uh, where you buy like a, whatever it is, a Walmart or 7-Eleven, I don't know the stores there uh but for uh, here in uk five pounds for these uh, festivals no the flavor is not bad it's like uh, to me it's like an average chocolate okay like okay let's uh, because i'm here okay and i already tried this is a like i said this is a cadbury okay uh Wispa. this is a british chocolate made in uk i think it's made in uk right let me let me double check i mean it says uh, made under license from cadbury uk now this this one is not even like the best one okay yesterday i had another uh, cadbury chocolate which was oh, really nice so let's see if what's the difference yeah man Honestly, if you guys haven't tried it, it's so milky and smooth, you no, know, and a little bit buttery. I don't know. Really, really nice. This is actually good chocolate. Okay, and again, it's not even the best chocolate in my opinion. But if you ask me uh, to choose either one of them, I will go for the Cadbury every day. Um, except, except maybe for the uh, what, what is called. Or the peanut butter one yeah this one yeah this one i can see myself buying one of them every now and then and eat one the other three no this was the the feastable the taste i gave you my honest opinion obviously some people would, might like them you know you you might come to me and say well this is the best chocolate in the world i don't care what you say and this and that fine well, you know everyone is free to do whatever that you want uh personally i didn't like i, I mean it's not like i didn't like it but I don't see myself going to the store and buy them, you know, especially I'm not going to order them on Amazon 20 pounds. I'd much rather uh, spend my money on actually good chocolate, <laughs> to be honest. It's a decent chocolate, but it's not the best in the world. This is my personal opinion. I'm just a guy in a, in a room <laughs> making a video about chocolate. You know, it's like a, I can't uh, tell him what to do with his chocolate and his product. But to me, it's not worth it, to be honest.
whatever uh thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it please like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye